guys, it's Cass here, and today I'm going to be talking about all the books that I got in February. I say all. If I had filmed this video on like the 24th of February, I would have had one book. But yeah, I have 11, so um, let's get into it. So first of all, that one book that I had for most of the month is Play the Game by Charlene Allen. This is the arc. I will put a picture of what the cover looks like up as well. Um, and this one is a contemporary mystery got a bit of a, a murder mystery aspect. It's about a guy whose friend was murdered. And then I think the person who did the murder in was then murdered in the same spot. And one of his other friends is like being done for it. But then he's trying to figure out because it's like, no, he didn't do it. That's the sort of vibes I'm getting. It sounds really interesting. So yes, I will be reading this this month because obviously it's an arc. So yeah, I'm really interested to get to it. And then on the 24th, I went to Lincoln with some of my fam and we did an escape room and while you're there obviously you've got to check out the charity shops haven't you and in one of the charity shops I found The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. Now I remember this book being talked about several years ago on YouTube, hopefully in a positive way. I felt like it was, I felt like people liked this book but maybe they didn't, maybe they just talked about it and it was terrible. But I saw it and I think it was like, it was a quid and I thought you know what, I'm in my thriller era, I, I'm, I'm kind of getting into those sort of things so maybe I should pick up one that I've heard of and maybe it's good. So yeah, I picked up this book. This year's most shocking thriller and because I don't read a lot of thrillers I feel like I probably enjoy them more than other people that would read like a million because I don't know all the tropes yet, I'm not like got into everything that's always written about stuff so even if to some people this is average then maybe I'll still love it hopefully is what I'm thinking and why I picked it up so yeah the girl in 6e and this one it's like she's a murderer she hasn't done any murderings in years but then I think somebody else dies and then she's trying to figure out what's going on I don't know but yeah it sounds interesting so that's that and then the wonderful page over at Pages and Page did a giveaway. So I threw my hat in there. It was commenting on one of her videos. And then I was watching her other video where she was announcing the giveaway. And I was just watching, I was just chilling. And then the, the little the little wheel came up. And then my name came up. And I was like, what? I won the giveaway. So she had uh, an amount of money that she would spend on your wish list. Either get something random or pick something specific. And I picked something specific. And that book is Ring Shout by P. DeJelly Clark. And I've been intrigued in this by this one for a while. Was it Books and Lala that mentioned it? I remember I watched somebody and they specifically mentioned this book. And I was like, wow, that seems really interesting. And then it's just been on my wish list for ages because it's like it's really thin so and i'm a cheap bastard so i was like oh i really want to read it but i'm not spending like 13 pounds on a book that's this thin because i'm a cheap bastard so then i was like hey Paige, get me that one please and now i own it so yeah i'm really intrigued as you can tell by the cover the kkk but also it sounds really weird it's like the kkk are this some sort of monster or a creature or a thing it's like fantastical but it also says that it's uh, body horror but also the dark humor that's the one I was looking for so yeah very intrigued by this book and now I have it so I can read it next up I have Tales of the Magic Weavers this is a guide of fantasy guild a guild of fantasy anthology so I picked this one up because one of my sister's short stories is in here so check it out why the book and obviously I wanted to support her and I want to own all of her books and then there's a bunch of uh, short stories from other indie authors so maybe it'll be interesting I'm not normally a massive anthology person because of the fact that some of them you'll love some of them you'll think average there might be one or two splattered in there that you don't like so normally I'm very like average with anthologies because the, the the star rating gets brought down even if there's some really great ones in there but i couldn't not get it because one of my sister's stories is in here which is very good because i read it as she was writing it and then told her that it was good told her what to change and stuff because that's the kind of guy i am i'm the reason her books are so good i say okay that sentence don't make sense bro saw it out and then she makes the wonderful books that she does so here we go this is why i got this one and hopefully some of the other stories are going to be really good as well. I don't expect all of them to be because it's an anthology and that just doesn't happen. 
but hopefully there'll be some other fun things sprinkled in as well. We're about halfway through, so let's head on over to a message from one of the sponsors, and then I shall be back with the last bunch of books. So the last bunch of books are all kind of a similar vibe and that is because on the day I'm filming this actually right now it's World Book Day, it's the 2nd of March and I'm actually sort of inception because I'm doing a vlog about these books right now but now I'm filming a video about these books that's not that vlog. So yeah I picked up a bunch of the World Book Day books, not all of them, I didn't pick up any of the like really really child ones and there was a random Spider-Man one that I didn't pick up. But I picked up all the other ones and I'm doing a vlog right now going through and reading all of them and having a chat about them and stuff and I don't know which video is going to go up first but both of them exist. So I have Boot It by A.M. Dasu. This is a contemporary about football and racism in football and it's also a character that's in her book Boy Everywhere is one of the main characters in here. We have Kay's Brilliant Brains by Adam Kay. This is non-fiction and it's going through 10, I believe, um, different people that have got brilliant brains and have done certain things. I've already read this one. And yeah, there's some really great, interesting people in here. There are some really obvious people and then there's some not obvious people. So I feel like even I learn stuff when I'm not even a child. So yeah, really good. There's Being an Ally. This one is edited by Shakira Bourne and Dana Allison Levy. This is um, select essays from the book Allies. So there's a full book. This one, there's a full book, Allies, and this is some select choices from that book. And it's all about being an ally in different ways, whether it's for people of a different race or disability or gender or all the, all the jazz. So yeah another non-fiction one there. I have The Boy With Wings Attack of the Rampaging Robots by Lenny Henry. This also is about a character that's in some other books but hopefully it's a bit of a standalone one-shot thing and as you can see it's about a boy and it's got wings so it's some sort of fun fantasy type goings on. I have A Dragon's Realm Adventure by Katie and Kevin Sang. Again this is another one that's based on characters or a storyline from a set of books, like a series. Again, I'm hoping that this is a standalone though, that I don't need to know about stuff because I've not read that series. I have Strange World Travel Agency, Adventures in the Floating Mountains by L.D. Lipinski. This one, I'm not sure, there's no pictures on the back saying that it's part of a series or if, it's a, or if it's, this is just a standalone sort of story. Well, I'm guessing the Strange Worlds a travel agency is probably a thing, like a set of books is my guess, but also that might just be a lie. This might just be a standalone thing. And it also looks fantastical and fun and yeah, like a good time. And then last but not least, I have Dave Pigeon, Bookshop Mayhem by Swappy Nahado. And this one just looks like an absolute fun time. To be honest, I wasn't expecting, well I wasn't planning on picking up all of these books, a few of them I thought, I'll pick up a few and do a vlog. And this is one of the last ones I picked up. And it's, <laughs> the um, the little quote on the back is, this book is better than biscuits that you probably shouldn't dunk it in your cup of tea. Dr. Hester, pigeon dentist. And then I couldn't say no. So yeah, this looks like it's gonna be an absolute riot. And those are all my World Book Day books. And like I said, I'm doing a vlog right now reading them. I'm on my third book and hopefully all of them will be interesting. I've enjoyed all of the ones so far that I've read. And there we have it. Those are all the books that I picked up in February. Let me know down below if you've got any, if you've got any of these, if you've read any of these, all that jazz. Say it down there if you want. And yes, I will see you in another video. Subscribe if you want, like if you want, do the comments, all that jazz. And I shall see you very soon with another video. Bye.